So in case you're completely blind or naive or just not paying too much attention, you probably would have noticed that recently there have been a lot of your social media sites that have either come under fire for a lack of privacy or have actually started to censor and cut off people. This could include YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, which you mustn't forget is owned by Facebook. Um, and it's a good reminder for all of us that we need to make sure that our main platform for communication is our own platform, is something that we own. Now you can do that through your own website. Uh, that's probably the way I would recommend doing it. That way, even if YouTube, say, completely cuts off your, whether you make money through there, like through a revenue stream with YouTube, or if you, uh, say, stream on Twitter, communicate mostly on Twitter, if you don't own your own property, so if you aren't sending people to, you know, uh, whyonpodcast.com, for example, but instead you're sending people to facebook.com slash whyonpodcast, you are at pretty much the mercy of that organization. Uh, they could change their policy. They could change to a paid service. They could decide they don't like what you're saying and completely cut you off. So it's important that you have your own website. Um, as someone in ministry, you need to make sure that you are not going to, um, again, just expose yourself to that risk. So, you know, it's, it's good to be on those platforms, but you need to think of them as a secondary platform. You need to think of Twitter, or as Facebook, or Instagram, or Snapchat, or whatever you're involved with. Think of it as a secondary platform, as just a way of communicating a tool that you have, but not as your main platform. You need to have your own website. And it's also good to have your own newsletter. Uh, you want to make sure that you have something that, you know, something that does go wrong with your Twitter account or your Facebook account. Someone hacks it. They, again, they censor you. They cut you off. You need to be able to communicate with your people. So you want to have your own email list. Um, so that's you know something to think about as you're developing your communication strategy. Uh, make sure that you aren't at the mercy of these organizations that, well, they might seem altruistic. They might seem like a good place for you to be connecting to people. Uh, there's always that risk that if it is your primary source that you could completely lose all those people that you're connected with. I've seen quite a few YM locations that have actually let their websites slide. Maybe the registration is gone. Um, I've even had two of my own where that's happened. Um, and often the people that pick that up aren't people that you want going to uh, if they're looking for your ministry site because they're usually spammers, trolls. Uh, you'll get clickbait. You'll get porn um, if you don't control your destinations. Uh, so be aware of that as well. You know, when you set up your website, make sure that you have your website domain name set to auto renew. Have your hosting set up to auto renew. You can even, you know, redirect your hosting to your Facebook account. So for example, I could have whyonpodcast.com and have that automatically redirect to my Facebook page. Well, it's not ideal, but at least then, if if your people are getting used to going to find you at, at whyonpodcast.com, if you lose your Facebook, you can then redirect that to another site. Now, I'd always recommend having your own website, not relying completely on facebook.com or Twitter or anything like that. Uh, but just, you know, be aware of it. Have a place that people can find you. Have a way that people can contact you. Even for your email address, rather than having whyonpodcast.com slash gmail, sorry, ywampodcast at gmail.com, which I do have, have contact at ywampodcast.com, which I also have. So that way, again, what if Gmail decides to cut you off? What if you're in a country where Gmail is cut off for some odd reason? Well, you can then still have access to your email. So just a few tips that I really wanted to share with you guys right now, given everything that's happening, uh, given that there's so many you know, right-wing or conservative uh, people and thinkers who are being cut off uh, on Twitter and shut down on YouTube and all that. Uh, just as you continue to go through your ministry, here, here's a funny one. Uh, YWAMPodcast.com is blocked at Ikea. Just because Ikea doesn't want you looking at religious sites, apparently. So...
sorry, that was a little left field, I know, but just, you know, be aware that there's going to be these places where you might be blocked, you might be cut out of your own accounts even. So, just think of that moving forward. So, thank you. Um, I think I'll be posting this at whymyt.com, uh, just and trying to develop that site as a place for us to share ideas, share thoughts, and connect as a community uh, of people working in communication, working in information technology, and uh, working in youth of the mission and in missions. So thank you. Got to go pick up my kids from school. So I'll chat again next time.